infantry formations and units carry out their annual training exercises in and around their operational areas where they practice and rehearse their operational tasks and battle drills. These field exercises are conducted in a realistic manner where actual operational plans and contingencies are physically executed by the formations and units on the ground in a terrain akin to their operational areas. Thus, in such field exercises, everything such as operational plans, troops, weapons, platforms, terrain, enemy forces, although depicted by old troops only, are actual. What is not real is the fire of the weapons and firing platforms. Therefore, the skills, ability and training of soldiers to effectively engage the enemy soldiers and to survive in the hostile battlefield environment is not realistically assessed and tested. Outcome is left to the judgment of umpires or control organization set up for the conduct of the exercise or training. This leads to some subjectivity. Furthermore, to draw out correct tactical lessons, it is essential to have some realistic figures of the casualties suffered by own and enemy forces in executing an operational plan. Since live firing in such exercises cannot be permitted for safety reasons, it is essential that it is replaced with simulated fire so as to assist the effectiveness of own and enemy fire. Zen Tactical Simulator TACSIM is one such system which brings in more realism in the conduct of exercises and permits opposing forces to actually fire at each other and experience if they fire what's for effect. With a laser trigger button provided with a CO2 based magazine will enable even to use the weapons having no blanks. TACSIM is a live simulation system where the fire of the soldier's weapon and effect of his fire as hit or miss is simulated using laser pulses and laser pulse detectors respectively. The system can be used to effectively train troops from platoon level and going up to a battalion or a brigade level. However, in the present configuration, it can be effectively used to train up to 120 personnel. For larger exercises, system will need to be customized without any problems. Soldier harness is in the shape of a jacket which a soldier wears over his combat dress. Harness is ruggedized and tamper-proof. Laser detectors are fitted on the body harness in a manner so as to detect laser hit on the body. Similarly, helmet harness which is worn over the soldier's helmet is also studded with sensors so as to detect the hits. Soldier's harness is fitted with the GPS which indicates the exact location of the soldier on the map loaded at XCOM. Visual and audio alarms on the harness give the visual and audio indication of the soldier's status after he has been hit. All the activities pertaining to the soldiers will be recorded and transmit the same to XCOM through the UHF radio transmitter. Soldier and helmet harness are fitted with rechargeable 7.4 volt batteries to provide power to various above stated elements of the harness. Integrated laser unit simulates the fire of the weapon. At present, 
ILU is customized for weapons used in Indian Armed Forces such as 7.62mm caliber GM MAG, LMG, self-loading rifle SLR, AK-47, SSG-69 or 5.56mm caliber INSAS LMG, INSAS rifle, 9mm machine carbine. However, it can be customized for any direct firing weapons. ILU is required to be customized for each type of weapon through a weapon adapter which allows proper fitting of ILU on the weapon and for its alignment. ILU can be set to function in different modes such as silent mode which is the default setting, blank mode, three round bust TRB or auto mode, single mode. TACSIM communication network is established using a 5 watt ultra high frequency UHF base station normally placed close to XCON and UHF transceivers with trainees, umpires and exercise control XCON. Network is required for passage of exercise data, commands and instructions between XCON, umpires and the trainees. Such data includes firing or firing action in real time, details of hits or misses, casualty status, data of area weapons for target end effects, commands from XCON about trainee data and for rendering a trainee casualty due to RT or mortar fire, grenades, IEDs or mines. A total of 22 laser detectors are used with soldier and helmet harness and are arranged in such a way that a hit on any part of the body is accurately detected. Harness sensors also receive the information contained in the laser pulse from ILU and area weapons like artillery, mortar fire, grenades, IEDs, minefields and pass the information to electronics control unit, audio and visual alarms and GPS. These three units are fitted on the soldier harness. Audio and visual alarms are used for giving the audio and visual indication of the hit and casualty status of a soldier. These alarms are activated on the commands of electronic control unit. Continuous beep indicates skill, four beeps indicate injury and two beeps indicate near miss. GPS provides the information about exact location of the trainee and keeps a track of his movements during the course of the exercise. Input-output device is operated with the help of a keypad which has five buttons. By operating them, a soldier can know all about harness, helmet, weapon, ammunition, mode of firing, single shot, blank round, three round burst and auto. Time and date of the exercise, health status, hit region, GPS and RF connection with control station, his ID, unit, battery status and the channel he is connected to. There are two electronic control units. Main one is placed in a pouch at the back of soldier's harness and the second one is fitted in the helmet harness. Two units communicate with each other through intra-training communication system. Helmet unit passes the process data to the main unit. These units are compact, rugged and waterproof. Exercise Control XCON Station XCON comprises of a tough book, specialized Taxim software, a printer. Base station of the Comnet is generally located close to XCON. The specialized software at XCON is the heart of the system and has every feature essential for planning and conduct of a two-sided exercise. It can be operated by one person. A few of the important features of XCON are as under.
umpire's gun. It comprises of a gun and data retrieval unit. It is used by the umpires or instructors for conduct of the exercises. Gun works on 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. Important features of the gun are Aiming alignment unit is used for aligning laser beam from ILU with weapon's line of sight. Since grouping is done at a distance of 15 meters, it can be used both indoors and outdoors, operating either from electrical mains or with its own batteries. The unit contains a target screen sensitive to laser light and a video monitor. Zen Tactical Engagement Simulator is essentially an outdoor system. However, with certain configuration changes, it has been designed to function in built-up areas or indoors and enable troops to train in indoor close quarter battle and room intervention drills. As the GPS is ineffective indoors, Zen ITS uses other sensors and video cameras to capture all activities or events and convey them in near real time to the XCOM. An ongoing outdoor engagement blends seamlessly into an indoor encounter or vice versa. All movements and engagements taking place inside a room are captured and transmitted in near real time to the exercise control center as well as to monitors located outside the room, either in close vicinity or at a distance, both in 3D images and live video footage. Visuals and audio occurrence are detected. The system in effect provides a realistic training environment and monitors, records all events for on-the-spot critique or after-action review AAR. Zentac Soldier Harness with Helmet RF Trigger Ultrasonic Sensors Cameras Video Screens Access Point Control Unit Umpire Gun 
Space Station, XCOM, CO2 Magazine, Weapon with ILU, Electronic Simulated Grenades, Once a soldier is inside the room, sensors and cameras capture the activities of the player. XCON displays the visuals on the video screen outside the room as well as on the tough book. Meanwhile, the action inside the room like firing and health status of the players are communicated to XCON through base stations.